Hi there, this is Maarten Baljau from JetBrains. Did you know TeamCity supports Amazon EC2 build agents? TeamCity's Amazon EC2 integration allows us to configure TeamCity with an Amazon EC2 image on which a TeamCity build agent is installed. The TeamCity server will start and stop agents automatically based on the number of queued builds and the required agent properties. In this screencast, we'll connect a pool of EC2 build agents to an already running TeamCity server. Let's walk through the steps that are required to get all of this working. First, we need an EC2 image with a build agent installed. We can launch a new EC2 instance, give it a name, and then select the base configuration for our build agent. I'm selecting a Windows Server 2012 image here, but if you need a different operating system that is supported by TeamCity, you can select that one instead. Next, we have to wait for the machine to start. Once it runs, log into it and install all required prerequisites for your built agent. On the machine I have here, I would install all .NET Framework versions to ensure I'm able to build .NET projects. On a built machine for Java, you would install the correct runtimes and JDKs for your projects. In order for our EC2 build agents to communicate with the TeamCity server, we have to install the build agent. From the EC2 instance, navigate to the TeamCity server and go to Agents. There, click Install Build Agents and use the preferred way of installation. On my EC2 instance here, I will run the Windows installer. But note that the build agent can also be installed using Java Web Start or by downloading and extracting a zip file. This last option can be useful in a console-based system, for example on a Linux-based build machine. We can install the build agent like any other one. I'm specifying the server URL in the build agent configuration here to be able to test communications with TeamCity server. But do know that this is not a required step. Do make sure the TeamCity build agent starts at system boot, for example by running it as a Windows service. While not mandatory, I like to test my configuration. From the TeamCity server, we should see the build agent connect. If this is not working, make sure that you have opened all the correct firewall ports on the EC2 instance, as well as through the EC2 dashboard under security groups. Just a quick note, we have installed a TeamCity build agent on our EC2 instance. While I prefer this approach, as it allows me to test every step in the process, it's not a required step. TeamCity also features an agent push feature, which can be used to install the built agent software automatically. We can install an agent or create a preset from the TeamCity server and specify details that are required. We can specify the username and password, as well as the platform we want to install to, Linux or Windows. We can now start making a template out of our built agent. It's recommended to remove temporary files and content logs from the instance before extracting an image. More on that can be found in our documentation. We can stop our EC2 image and extract an image of it, a so-called AMI. This AMI, or Amazon image, will serve as a template for our build machine. Later on, TeamCity will use this image to spin up new build agent instances. The creation of the AMI takes several minutes, after which we can configure our TeamCity server. Do make note of the AMI image ID, we'll need it later on. In a browser, Navigate to the TeamCity server. From there, go to the Agent page and click on the Cloud tab. We can then configure EC2 integration by creating a new cloud configuration. 
Note that we can create multiple cloud configurations, for example one for different operating system versions we want to run builds on. We can enter a name for our cloud profile and specify after which amount of idle time instances should be terminated. To be able to communicate with Amazon, we have to specify the access ID and secret access key. These can be found by following the links on screen. We can specify the location for our built agents, the availability zones, key pairs, security groups and so on. The important thing here is that we have to specify which AMI image we want to start when a new build agent is needed. Enter the ID we retrieved earlier through the Amazon dashboard. Also the maximum number of agents that can be launched is important so we don't exceed our Amazon bill. When going back to the agents page and click the cloud tab, we can see that one instance will be launched immediately after creating a cloud configuration. TeamCT does this to retrieve all metadata for the built agent we installed on the machine and to learn about the agent properties. We can also start and stop instances from this screen. Let's trigger some builds. Once we do that, we can see that they will all run on various EC2 instances. After a build agent has been idle for a while, we can see from the build agent step that the instances that were spinned up are also being terminated to reduce costs. For more information, check our documentation page. Thank you for watching, until next time.